Hello guys, Fru here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is actually going to be an app review. But before we go into that, let me go into my Google feed in here and give us some background into this app. So just checking my Google feed uh, in the morning and I came across uh, this particular article in here that talks about the best app of 2019. Uh, and this caught my attention according to Google. All right. And so Google names Ablo the best app of 2019 and so i was very curious to see what this app was so i clicked on it i followed the link and i went ahead uh into the play store and downloaded the app and so this is the app you can see on the top left side of my screen let me open that up i've been in there just i created an account i was trying the app to see what exactly it does so before we go into it just a little bit of uh of uh, an explanation of what i think the app is uh, about so it should be an app that allows you to connect with people around the world um, so from random countries you can connect with people you can have conversations uh, with them around the world so uh, if you're somebody that travels it could be very interesting but I can also see how people would want to use this app uh, for dating purposes or for you know for whatever reason so anyways that said let's get into it I'm just gonna go there very quickly and show us some of the features that, that uh, I saw uh, just to give you an idea all right so let me close this uh, the very first thing that I want to do is I don't want to go into a trip. I want to go here. All right. So if you click on this here, you can see people, right? Apparently, there are thousands, if not millions of people. I'm not quite sure how many people use the app. All right. So it's really people around the world that are using the app and you can connect with them. Uh, I'm not sure if you can choose individual people to connect with. Um, uh, so I'm not still quite sure about it. But it, again, it's something... With the global context and one of the powers of the app is it allows it translates real time so you can be speaking with somebody that is in russia for example uh, speaking russian and maybe you don't speak russian and if they're writing in russian it's going to translate that automatically to your language of choice all right so the idea is you can connect with anybody uh, in the world across uh, language barriers so very 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 interesting now uh, here is uh, where you see people again i'm not quite sure uh, I've just been using it for a couple of minutes here. And then here is a chat. So here is a chat. So I've had a couple of conversations testing the app. You can see uh, with, with some few folks here. Uh, and it does allow you to have conversations with people. Uh, if you don't want to have the conversation, you can leave uh, the chat very easily. And I'm going to show that. Now, the next thing that we have here is uh, uh, this one in the middle here. This is the one that uh, once you come in here, it takes you, it does a search around the world, I, I guess, right? It says worldwide and then both sexes, so male or female. Um, uh, and you can customize that. Let's say if you wanted to customize it, you can buy some coins or some tokens or whatever they call this, coins, I guess. And then you can say, well, you want to chat with just uh, uh, women or you want to chat with just men or you want to chat with people from a specific uh, uh, country, all right, or region. So let's say if I wanted to go ahead and, and change this. Let's see if I wanted to talk to worldwide and to any person, then that's free. But if you wanted to talk to, say, people just from Africa, then it's going to charge you uh, some coins per connection. All right. And I'm not sure how much it costs to buy the coins. So let's keep it worldwide. Let's keep it free. And let's keep it on both. So you can chat with both men and women. All right. So now let's continue the trip. So you can customize that connection. Um, this now is, I think it's going to do a search around the world. Uh, in and then it gives you some cultural context here. For example, in France and all of that. What well, has brought me to Brazil? Uh, so now I can go ahead and chat with the, somebody in Brazil called Jonah. If I want to have the conversation, I can go ahead and have the conversation with Jonah. See Jonah typing. All right. Uh, um, I don't want to have the conversation, so I'm just going to ready to leave the conversation but if you wanted to chat apparently you can go ahead and have the chat with jonah all right guys so there you have it it's a very interesting app for someone like me that like that travels quite a bit i just kind of thought it was a uh it was an interesting concept i don't want this to search that's the problem uh it just keeps searching and bringing you up to uh to people so there's no way to really explore the app if you don't want to uh, chat with with any person but guys there you have it just a quick app review uh, caught my attention apparently the best app of 2019 i thought i'd do a quick review of it 
So guys, check it out. You know, if you travel the world or if you just want to have conversations and create connections around the world, this might be something to, to try out and uh, go across language barriers. Thanks for watching through here and I'll see you in the next video.